hey friends so welcome back to day two and three yes um i actually ended up compiling all footage from day two and three into one video um like i mentioned before i don't take a ton of videos when i'm out on vacation because i like to live in the moment because i get distracted with all the events going on i forget to take out my phone and videotape and this is how we started off most of our days is by going to denny's but also i like denny's i like going to niners i think it's a nice time to just sit and talk Whoa, look, Jonathan, that's the castle. They decorated it, you see? This was my third time coming to Disneyland, but Jonathan's first time. And what made this trip very special, aside from the fact that it was his first time, is we got to go for the New Year's. So, ironically enough, we came to welcome 2020. And boy, what a way to start off that new year. Um, what we didn't know back then. This is truly one of those moments where I understand the saying, ignorance is bliss. But regardless, it was a really special time and I'm really glad that we went. And I'm glad that we were able to provide that special experience for him. And of course, we had to come and give him his first pair of mouse ears. Um, we didn't find anything in the store, but he ended up buying himself a sorcerer's hat. Very classic. We're on the first ride of the day. Are you excited? It smells good. Huh? It smells good. That smells like perfume. Someone's wearing perfume. I understood what they said. Yeah, they said we have to take care of you. <laughs> he said he understood what they said. Because it was in Spanish. Alright, I'm gonna go because I actually want to watch it anyway. <laughs>
She sings the Pinocchio song. And presto, the doors open for you. I now she present to you Tanelier Tavon's private office. Looking back on this footage, I am so upset at myself for not recording his reaction on this ride. This is the Guardians of the Galaxy ride, my favorite out of the whole park. I ended up putting my phone away just to comply with their rules, but we ended up going on this eight more times. It was so fun. Oh my god. Definitely recommend. Can we go on this ride? I tried to record his reaction yesterday, but they said no filming, so I didn't get to see the look on his face. She's be she was being mean to me. <laughs> Because your face was so funny, you looked so traumatized. This is my video now. I'm going to end it. So sad, you guys. We're nearing the end of this vlog. This was all the footage that I had from two years ago. And looking back at this trip, it was truly so special and I miss every minute of it. I think Jonathan got to meet more characters than I did my first time going to Disneyland, which I think is really cool. It's really amazing how there's still a lot of magic left for you even after you grow up. I love it more now as an adult than I did when I was a kid. It's truly a magical experience every time. Even looking back at all this footage, I'm tempted to just hop in my car and make that drive down to LA. I miss it so much. Look at all the lights. Everybody was getting ready for the countdown. And unfortunately, we didn't even stay for the countdown because we were so tired by the end of it all. And it was so crowded and it was really late. We just wanted to go to bed. <laughs> we thought to ourselves, there'll be other countdowns. It's okay. But looking back on it, this was the last time you could go to Disneyland for the New Year's for I think maybe about a year and a half. So we were really lucky to have this trip before COVID. This was a really fun experience and I miss it every single day. I'm really grateful that we had a chance to go on this trip and make some memories. I just want to thank everybody for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. There's more videos to come, more memories to make. Stay safe.